Hey guys, Closey here. Welcome back to the stream. Guys, hearing me okay? Everything good? Bit of a different layout today. Some changes in the stream as well. Let me know if you're buffering. I was looking for transcode because I changed the settings. I'll go into more detail on that, but I'm using a much higher bitrate, more than double than what I had set it before. So let me know if you're buffering, but I can't do anything about it for now. <laughs> Just let me know so we can adjust. Thank you for joining everybody. Good morning, good evening. It's clumsy trucking yet again. Perfect time for hanging out. Thank you for joining. Gamaste, how are you? What did you miss? I'll go through it in full detail later on if you haven't checked Discord yet. Hey Scotsman, ever first? I heard you've been recruited by Jack for a certain game. <laughs> Hope to do that with you guys soon. Hey Patrick. Thanks for joining, man. Were you in Jack's stream? Sorry, Jack, I couldn't join a while ago. I was planning to, but last minute preps and everything. Did you manage to catch a lot of B, star, 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 S? <laughs> uh, Yar, Jack. <clears throat> hey, Jay, good morning. Glad you could join today. Sorry it's buffering. I hope it will get better in a bit. I miss MMJ how are you glad you could join NL DT Fang hey glad to see your faces here well your names but you get the point right thank you for following by the way we have a new person in the channel feel free to join us in chat and we'll get right to it Thursday night indeed for you as folks yeah, it is a bit early. I think we the stream is one hour earlier now for those in Europe mainly. Uh, next week, it will be one hour earlier as well for those in the US, mostly for those with DST. How are you doing, NL? Sorry if I missed anyone. Brian, thanks for joining. Yarbla. How have you guys been? Long time. <laughs> I guess you guys were in Jack's stream. 31 months my goodness perfect timing jack it's kind of a special day today sound check for the win gg indeed thanks jack appreciate it hey luke thanks for joining how is everyone doing what have you been up to that's a good point jay Hmm, I'll do that next time. <laughs> That's one more part of the equation that I forgot. No buffers, change a different connection. Great to hear. <clears throat> hey, emails. Yeah, that's great. Are you uh, from Europe by any chance? Most of the time, Europe folks have a hard time joining because it's very uncomfortable. <laughs> the B star 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 <laughs> taken care of. Bangly bits. I'll never guess what. What? What? The population will never be the same. Some population control in there. Let's load up the game. We are going with ATS today. Did I click it? Yeah, I think so. No buffer. Okay, great to hear. That's a good call on the... 1080. We'll try that next time, Jay. <laughs> Completely missed that. <clears throat> Alright. So we are going for... Chihuahua Beta 5 today. Because... Um, Eblem and Team Reforma released this for the patrons. I think yesterday, so it was perfect timing. And uh, there are new areas in the map as well as a lot of bug fixes and overall improvements. But I guess the main addition, Alex might know more about this. Uh, feel free to chime in, Alex. 
I think the main addition is Chihuahua, the city of Chihuahua itself. Now has a connection to... Where is it connecting? New Mexico or Arizona? I think New Mexico. So there is now a direct connection there. That's the road that we'll be taking. So I found a job that goes from Chihuahua, so from the south, goes to the northwest all the way to Oregon. We'll see if we can finish that this stream, but that's the main addition. And we will be going for a full... Uh, the works today, all the FPS um, challenges that we can throw into this because I ha might have some news. The patrons and subs probably know this already. Um, and uh, everyone will have the access to the video later. So there's a video coming out later which goes through this in more detail. But I got a little bit of an upgrade, thankfully. <laughs> We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> Great to hear, NL. Good luck, man. May have eliminated a few in Jack's stream. A 7.5 ton Iveco. In real life? 2002 in the first truck you've driven, you had to drive it home. Wow. Don't let Jack hear that. Oh, too late. You heard it. <laughs> so what do you say? Is it a crab feckle or is that a misconception? Congrats, man. Feels like a great purchase. Go next to New Mexico in a small bit of El Paso, Texas. So that's the one. So we are in Chihuahua right now. And if we look to the north here, there is this gray road. So we have Juarez, El Paso, Santa Teresa. And... Uh, ah, that's what... the. Uh, yeah, that's what Alex was showing because where is the border? So this is the border between Mexico and uh, the US. And one second. I guess this is Texas. This part right here is Texas. And this one right here is New Mexico. So you are crossing states. You are crossing country from here and then you'll be crossing states from here. And crossing it back again. <laughs> Little bit of an upgrade. <laughs> yeah, so if you look at the frame rates right now, it looks pretty good so far. I might have had a bit of a GPU upgrade. Um, and I am using John Ruda's Freightliner Classic XL, which is notorious for eating a lot of FPS because of its high polygon count. Um, I do have my FPS limiter set to 144. I think it reaches around 170 around this area. But yeah, this is with uh, all the FPS, the anti-aliasing, the NVIDIA profile inspector, the additional shadow sizes and everything. So, so far so good, but we'll see. Um, in terms of the stream, I'm also changing it. I've also changed the way the stream is encoded before i was using my cpu for the stream now it's the gpu for both the stream and the recording so the gpu is working much harder there you go so let me know when you get stutters buffering and whatnot um, because i do have the preview enabled as well and oftentimes i had problems with the the preview enabled in there okay let's go bit of El Paso done. It's a work in progress. There we are inside the cab. <laughs> exactly Alex. Just a bit of a stress test. Yeah pretty cold so far. GPU temps are at 63. 96% utilization. Yeah sure know how to push this video card. And I went back to 1.38, guys. Because otherwise, I wouldn't have Z-Mod sounds. And the rest of the... Upgrades. The rest of the mods that we've grown to enjoy. So I think 139, still not a lot of support in there from the last time I checked. Um, so I'm sticking with 138. Even Eblem recommended staying with 138 because he said that 139 is still unstable. 
So basically, if you're not going with the low beds, the low boys uh, might as well go back to 138 for now. Don't have the option to resub. <laughs> yeah, that's, that does sound strange. IRL. It's really scary, so different from Truxim. Not actually a crab feco. Hear that, Jack? <laughs> really pulls well and sounds brilliant. Might give EVR a call and come record it. What what model is it? Epeco what? Is it like a Stralis or a Highway? Of course, I'm not familiar with the different things. That, so that's the route. Coming from Chihuahua, making our way north. Past New Mexico, Utah, Idaho, and then Oregon. Hey, maybe we can also get a peek of Colorado. Colorado is this one, right? To the right, to the east of Utah, to the north of New Mexico. You think? Nope, didn't hear anything. Colorado, okay, thank you. Go and pick up the trailer. I do have G Sync off. I am still testing it. So I'm not sure if I want to bring it back right now. So, right now, keeping it basic just to lessen the complexity. But later on, I might introduce it again. We'll see if that helps. Geography boss now. <laughs> Only the areas that are being added by ATS. Although to be fair, I am also getting a bit more familiar with the geography in the East Coast. But that's now because of on air, because of Flight Simulator. Our base in Flight Simulator is in North Carolina in Asheville. And I'm flying around that area, so I'm getting more exposed to like Florida, South Carolina, but still a long way to go. Oh yeah, that's not going to cut it. Apparently upgrading your GPU doesn't give you enhanced skills with the driving. Maybe the opposite. The monitor tool. You guys interested in the FPS? Sure thing. If you don't mind the additional numbers, I'll happily keep it up. I also am quite curious how it performs. So let's see. I actually want to check like how the frame rate is with the So how the frame rate is with the 4X Nvidia profile stuff versus just keeping it everything vanilla, maybe doing a 400% scaling and whatnot. We'll see how it works. But yeah, I'm actually surprised that I'm not able to max this out already. Like, the GPU is really working hard. Interesting, huh? For the sake of science. Am I going the wrong way? Oh, that's okay. I did miss driving the classic XL. I have been avoiding it for the longest time, especially when I'm going through the map mods because normally the map mods are pretty heavy. Some of them are heavier than the default. Lots more things happening. So I try to stay away. Like either it's a custom map or a custom truck, but not both. Now I think uh, we won't be that limited anymore, hopefully. It does seem like it's hotter in here though. I have a feeling the GPU with all the heat that it's dissipating, well, I guess the, the, the ambient temperatures are, <laughs> are also increasing. Or maybe it's just hot today, I don't know. 100 plus FPS, yeah, now it's going lower with all the traffic. I'm also not quite sure because it, it, it does feel like sometimes it's uh, CPU bound now. I wish 
truck sim had that metric the same as how it was in how they have it in flight simulators explain has it fs2020 has it where they have like the frame time from the cpu and the gpu so you know exactly which one is bottlenecking you look at that we're actually dropping to 60 and but there is nothing maxing out so if you look at the gpu the, any of the cpu threads nothing is going beyond 90 percent even but still fps is getting low quite interesting might be a game engine limitation then no i actually have a uh, they say yeah I, I have Riva tuner I set my FPS maximum to 144 but I'm allowing it to go beyond 60 just so I can experience I can maximize my monitor hey GTA lover doing good man doing good SES optimization is weird yes to, to say the least <laughs> that's very true GPU does increase your room temp okay confirmed <laughs> I guess all that heat has to go somewhere, right? Yeah, and it's going straight to my armpits. <laughs> TMI. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness, it's hot. I think I need my fan. Let me just open it. Hopefully it's not too noisy for you guys. Let me know if the fan noise gets too much. Now all screenshots will be 100. <laughs> I am pretty excited to do the next part of the mini series. So the first part will come out later. And yeah, basically I upgraded my GPU. I'm now on an RTX 3080. And the details will be in the video later. Uh, but basically I was able to work with ASUS. Uh, as I mentioned in the video, they kind of took pity on me. <laughs> uh, so we have a kind of a tie-up going. So I'll be releasing a couple more videos related to that tie-up. And I'm looking forward to those. Part 1, the video that will be coming out later, is focusing on the installation. How, the, I, how I installed the video card. How my rig looks like. Don't expect too much. Part 2 will be more on optimization of Flight Simulator. Because as you guys might know, FS2020 is not the most optimized sim out there. It is still a simulator. So it doesn't equate to just putting on a powerful GPU equating to immediately 2 times, 3 times the performance. A lot of tuning has to be done and I want to go over those tuning aspects and then part 3 is a bit of a surprise I have one more ace up my sleeve still with aces but I will keep that uh, teaser for now so I guess it will be 3 parts mainly <clears throat> apparently twitch suspended dragon force guitarist <laughs> For playing his own music, my goodness, because of all these DMCA takedown things. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. No, that what happened is not beautiful. This picture is beautiful. But that sucks. Now... Will that work? There we go. I think I should have to turn off the FPS counter. Thanks GTA lover, appreciate it. Which content are you particularly fond of? Are you more the truck sim fan, flight sim fan? 2800 miles, good luck. 3900x with the 2080 warms up the room as well. Okay, so it's true. <laughs> I guess I might need the air conditioning now. Mm, that might be a good excuse, I need the air conditioning. What fan noise? Good, good. Asus partnership, now we all want the deal. Yeah, I was working with Asus last night, so I told them that I had the video ready, and I'll publish it later. And they asked if they could take a peek. 
I was a bit nervous because they might say something. They might uh, not like it. But uh, thankfully, they did. They were they thanked me for the video and um, they gave me some more pointers for the next uh, vids. I think they have some info that they want to share with everyone. So like they have some talking points, but not related to the GPU. More like the the next surprise. Yeah, I was. Maybe I can give more of a backstory here in the stream. After all, you guys are here. It's the least I could do. And I, I, do want, I did want to share this for the longest time. I think it's been... You know what? I'm actually not sure when it, it happened. Look at that FPS. My goodness. Yeah, it's probably CPU related. Because I can see the CPU going up a bit. Yeah, but with city area like this, you really are quite limited with what you can do. So, I think it was 4... Five weeks ago when they emailed me and uh, asked if I was interested in featuring their brand new GPU together with Flight Sim 2020 I'm not sure how they found me they maybe looked for FS 2020 videos maybe specifically Singapore FS 2020 videos and they happened to chance upon one of my vids, which did uh, surprisingly well. <laughs> I got lucky. So maybe I kind of fooled them there. No, but uh, <laughs> no, but I, I think uh, from there they emailed me. And initially, initially I thought it was a scam, you know, because it was you know you know these emails that you get like uh, oh part um. We want to buy your channel, you know, stuff like that. Or a uh, partnership offer. So I had to do a bit of vetting, a bit of validation, a bit of uh, double checking, but everything checked out. So I was like, okay, this seems legit. So I replied and uh, I was looking forward if they will push through with it. Hey, good evening, Driver Stein. How are you, man? It's a bit late there, isn't it? Long time no talk, man. How have you been? What have you been up to these days? GPU does increase the room temp. You're an all AMD system. Living room a sauna. <laughs> Had to turn on your AC unit. Yeah, I think I'll have to turn on my AC as well. Uh, let's see, I'll try to bear with it a couple more minutes, but if that doesn't work, we'll go with it. So, yeah, I, I emailed them. I Initially, they didn't say any specifics. Like, they only said, uh, we want to... Um, would you be interested in, like, featuring our GPU together with Flight Sim? I was like, what else could it be? There's only one main new GPU so I was really hoping that it was the 3080 and then eventually they replied we settled on we uh, came up on a schedule so we we talked and yeah they confirmed that it was with the 3080 and we were throwing around ideas on how to present it uh, negotiating a bit and then they asked me we kind of like were, you know, the paycheck dance, where it's like, oh, you pay, I pay, no, I pay, you, no, I pay. We kind of did something like that dance, the, the negotiation dance, maybe. We were kind of like beating around the bush of, basically, the, 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 top, the next topic was, okay, so how do you want to be compensated for this? That was the overall uh, message or topic. But of course, us being Asians, we don't really just go that direct route. We kind of um, skirt around the edge. Of course, we're courteous. We uh, we want to be polite. So it kind of took like five minutes for that topic. But eventually, I, I can't even remember the details on how we came across that, how the message was received, that that was the topic on both ends. There was no implicit um, uh, or explicit uh, 
mentioning that okay we're in this topic now but it's kind of like it was a uh, an agreement on both parties okay now what this is what we're talking about and I basically just told them well can I keep the card <laughs> because <laughs> I, don't, I don't I don't want to give this back once I get it I will not want to give this back for sure Oi. thank you and uh, so with that I think they were okay uh, we just had to negotiate a bit more on what kind of content there would be because it is a quite a pricey GPU so quite a bit of negotiation in there and uh, from there we discussed the logistics and I will continue with the uh, story after I catch up with chat when is the release of the 3070? is that out yet? hey Martin glad you could make it man how have you been? couldn't remember your twitch login <laughs> no worries man thanks for letting me know putting your brother's new 2070 super you know what your next gpu is he was getting 150 fps more <laughs> 150 fps more what the heck what game are you playing hey drifter king enjoy the mods list hope it's useful let me know if you have questions. Maybe I can help a bit. Yeah, the 2070 Super is a, a Super 75 card. Ask Rohan. Yesterday. Ah, yesterday was when the 3070 released. How, how did it go compared with the uh, 3080, 3090 releases? Was it basically the same thing? Like that meme? Like... Uh, when you had your eyes open and it was like coming soon and then you blinked your eyes when you opened it again it was out of stock <laughs> is it the same story i wonder if amd will have the same story and did you guys hear about the amd announcement that is a real surprise goodness amd is bringing it and it's good for us all if that trend continues, maybe my next upgrade will be an AMD. Although right now, still much more confident with NVIDIA, especially with like the video encoder and the content creation needs. I think it's more stable. But from a, a pure gaming point of view, might be actually even at this point, AMD already has the upper hand in terms of value. Most of the 3070 arrives today, but orders started yesterday. Ah, I see. And hopefully they have more stock of that. I would expect they would, because it's GDDR6, not 6X. I think one of the bottlenecks that they had was the 6X supply. 75 card. That was on the Haven benchmark. Ah, I see. Max Red did too in this PC. It looks so good. I can imagine. I am human blockers on the sites. <laughs> That's good. All the captchas you can think of. Like the ones in pro mods. Hey, Sonoma. 10 months all on a street. My goodness. Consistency is king. Thanks, Sonoma. GG, man. Woo, K pop. Army. <laughs> oh, anyone an army fan here? AMD will have to prove stability has been fixed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so even though the specs look very powerful, look very promising, we will have to wait for the actual reviews from third-party content creators and long-term use of the GPU to uh, check the stability. So the battle is not yet over, but they are in a very good spot
I think it's also going to be available mid-November, if I remember correctly, around November 18, was it? But yeah, well, the supply, the, av the availability will also be a question. So, I let's let me continue the story. So we got that. Um, so we talked the details. We agreed on how it would be, more or less high level. And so we scheduled the the delivery. So they will send over the the card. But there was no clear date, so that was the next item, and that was where it really took long because they even they have a very limited supply of the GPU, so they basically are like I think they only have one GPU for all the media partners, so it's basically like everyone gets their turn. Okay, you first do your review, give it back. I'll send it here. Do your review. So it's a bit step by step. Yeah, speed bumps. And uh, so I had to wait my turn. And that wait was my goodness. I was getting all paranoid and everything because, yeah, of course, Asus themselves didn't know because they had to coordinate with a lot of partners. So if there was a delay, if there was like, they can't really force someone to finish. So it depends on the timing of that uh, content creator. And so we kept on constant communication and it's like, okay, next week it will arrive. And then when next week arrived, it was like, oh, uh, we, this something came up basically, uh, this one, this one, uh, by next week it will arrive. So that trend continued for the next couple of weeks. And I only got the card a um, couple of days back. So yeah, it was a very punishing experience in a way because I couldn't tell anybody and uh, you know that feeling like, how do you feel, like when, when, when for example a dog and you're, you're like you're dangling food in front of the dog and as the dog gets closer you, you pull it back, you pull it back, you pull it back, that was the feeling and it was like, is this even going to happen? It's like, oh, I, I know it's not their fault because there is limited supply everywhere but it's still not a great feeling to have right so so it's just it's just how the situation is there is no one to blame but still it doesn't make me happy oh my goodness this looks so good so yeah it was a it was quite a predicament oh beautiful and uh, i came to a point i think it was last week or two weeks ago Actually, when I make that, made that Q&A video, when I made that Q&A video of what you're planning to upgrade, I was not sure yet if I would be getting the card because of all the delays and the challenges. So I was literally browsing the online sites every day. And I was at that point where I was craving for it so much that I was willing to spend the entire thing and uh, just to have the card. You know, like it... That the card was dangling in front of my nose for the longest time. I was like, I'm going to buy it. I don't care. <laughs> but thankfully, it arrived. Thankfully, all those roadblocks were um, solved. So I got my hands on the card. And uh, here we are. Have a good night, MJ. Thanks for hanging out here. Hey G, glad you made it, man. Yes, the secret is out. Rohan, you can spill it now. <laughs> Rohan spilled the beans a while ago on Discord. <laughs> a bit ahead of time. How are you, man? 18 for the 6800 and XT. December for the 6900 XT. Very promising. Definitely will be looking forward to the reviews there. How have you been doing, G? You were planning to upgrade, right? Any luck getting stock? It's like waiting for Christmas morning as a kid. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no risk of um, of um, going away or spilling the beans anymore. I think. 
Yes, yes, that's part of the deal. I get to keep the card. <clears throat> I won't be giving it back even if they ask for it. <laughs> no, but yeah, that, that's what the in, the initial alignment was for. Like, let's. I'm flexible with everything else. How many videos? What type of content you really prefer? But I get to keep the card, <laughs> basically. Of course, in a very polite way. Sorry, Asians. <laughs> But yeah, sinister, <laughs> very Heidi, <laughs> a 5950X, wow, man, what motherboard do you have currently? Do you have a 550, was it a 550? Because I think at the moment this year, the 450 motherboards aren't compatible yet, right? Goodness, this is lovely. Is this part of the new area? Just double check the area, okay? So yeah, I was I was getting pretty frustrated the past past couple of weeks, just because I couldn't get my hands on it. So I was like, I was happy enough with my 1070. Well, happy enough subjectively. Like I I, I accepted the fact that I am going to be FPS limited to 30 or something like that in flight sim. And I was living with it, and then I got that good news, so I got my hopes up. And then for the like, couple, couple of weeks, I was like, oh, my card is so slow. I, I can imagine how fast it will be when I get it, but it's not coming. So maybe I'll have to settle for this again. So, you know, the, the expectation is going like that. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is crazy. Uh, but yeah, finally it arrived, and I'm... So super thankful to Asus. They are amazing people to work with. And uh, yeah, given the limitations, given the supply limitations, and given the challenges, I think they've handled it very, very well. So thank you, Asus, again. <clears throat> so yeah. Video first part of the video coming out later, and that video, my goodness, I had such a hard time doing that. I re I filmed that I filmed that yesterday, and it is so hard. I did not realize it could be that hard because I'm I'm pretty used to recording, recording inside the PC, right? Recording in the the OBS, my screen, sharing, editing. So that one I can get fine with, but doing actual camera work, setting up the camera, uh, setting up the lighting and everything, doing production work all alone, oh, it's such a pain, <laughs> my goodness. And on top of that, doing the actual assembly, which I'm not really, uh, uh, I, as you guys know, I'm not a hardware guy, so I have a very hard time working with hardware stuff. My hands are all fiddly, all clumsy, and uh, yeah, it's not my forte, so it is quite challenging. 68 here. <gasps> I was thinking I should be stopping. Are you getting 175? Well, in the flight sim loading screen, I got 1000 FPS. <laughs> I just had my meter on and apparently during the loading screen, the intro, you know, when the Asobo comes out, apparently it maxes out your GPU even from that point for no particular reason I can imagine, but it does. So it's like the GPU is like, go! <laughs> <It's> like <laughs> 1000 FPS, okay. But no, after the, the loading screen is much more um, realistic. So I really have to set an FPS limit on that sim, otherwise it will just use unnecessary power. X570 board, nice. Congrats man. Then are you planning on upgrading to an AMD graphics card? Because there is that synergy now, right, that they announced. If you had the 5000 series Ryzen and then you get a 6000 series uh, AMD Radeon, you will get access to the... Rage mode, I think is the marketing term they say. 
But yeah, I think it has a lot of benefits. So for the first time ever, we're getting that CPU and GPU synergy. Very promising technology. Yeah, the B450s, they said, I think, will be. But the BIOS update won't be available until next year, I think. Or that's what I saw in the floating around in the YouTube world. Just a very nice scenery all around here. Super nice. Option to sub is not available for you at the moment. I have to wait for it to get ready. <laughs> no worries, Jay, no worries. Maybe it's a... Well, it's for sure a Twitch thing. Maybe it's a regional Twitch thing. 6800 XT when you can get one. Nice, yeah. That sounds like a perfect combo. 5000 series with a... Six, CPU with a 6000 series GPU. <laughs> Bad for that. It's going to be worth it. It's going to be Jay's 2 cents level build. So yeah, I, I, I appreciated how much work these content creators put in and how much help it is to have more people in the production team like, you know, like Jace Two Cents, like Linus, Gamers Nexus, Steve they all have like at least two people in the channel, right? three or more my goodness, just, but just having one extra person more is so helpful in that kind of production because like in, in recording footage like this and software stuff I don't think I need an additional hand. I can handle the editing myself, the content creation, the, the the storyboards and everything. But all the setting up in the physical world, you know, there is such a thing as a physical world. <laughs> oh my goodness, an extra pair of hands goes a very long way. I, I figured out the hard way yesterday. So yeah, I was aching all over by the time I finished. And uh, yeah, when you watch the video, I mentioned that in the last part of the vid. I actually wanted to finish it because I was so tired. And I did not actually think I could finish, that I would be able to release by today. Because it's just so... It's just so taxing. And I'm not used to it, so it's even more so. But yeah. We'll see. I'll probably have to invest soon in a proper audio equipment. Maybe something like uh, what Jay has. Is Jay the one you had? Is that wireless? The mic you have? I might need to get one of those. So I can move around and still talk in, a, in an acceptable quality. Instead of having like a call quality while recording. Thanks Sonoma. I tried. I tried my very best. At the end of it, when I finished recording, like the benchmark part, I was not yet I have not yet recorded. But all the all the like the camera work, all the footage I recorded already. The raw footage is there. And I was like, oh I'm so tired, I don't know when I can finish, maybe by next week. But right now I just want to I, I need to stop because it's too much. And then um Well I ate lunch because I haven't eaten the entire day yet, IF and everything. So I recorded in the morning, I was so tired by lunchtime, took a break, had lunch, and by the time I finished lunch, I was like, let's do this. <laughs> so, <laughs> apparently, yeah, it was tiring, but yeah, the food definitely helped. So I was like, gimme, give gimme. Give and then after lunch, I recorded the rest of the, the benchmarks and edited it and rendered it. And Oh yeah, speaking of rendering, is anyone here, um, so like Jay and other content creators, if anyone knows, like, what software do you use for editing? Because I, I find it frustrating that my the software I use, um, Vegas, it doesn't support GPU rendering. So it's all CPU and it's such a waste having a powerful GPU and not being able to use it at all for the renders. <coughs> At least the old version of Vegas that I have doesn't work. Maybe the new one does. 
so I might have to invest in a proper uh, editing software as well so at least I can I'm not going to be too averse on editing videos anymore so right now when I record something it takes like two hours to render it it's just too long 3080 funds for a 4k monitor <laughs> very true very true that is tempting where's the camera I'm still not used to it that is very tempting Rohan <laughs> yes your mic uh, no no you you your your mic Jay I, th I remember you I think you got one of those like um, what do you call it you know the, the small thing that you attach on your shirt or something But I'm not sure if that's wireless. You don't update BIOS unless you need to. Yes, definitely agree with that. It's always a roll of the dice with uh, BIOS. Hey, Zarf! Kidnap in the meantime. <laughs> yeah, Alex has unbelievable EQ, unbelievable emotional intelligence. I cannot survive that long. B450 has a, an old BIOS on it, never updated it. This still doesn't have. Yeah, my 350. I had to update the BIOS so I could put the uh, 3700 on it. Waiting for them to release prices for the 6000 series. Assuming they're available before his birthday. Oh yeah. Sounds promising. Ajay is to fail, yes. <laughs> yes. Behind the scenes, my goodness, those guys are doing the real work. All that prep stuff. Just needed more gas, yeah, exactly. The newer ones utilize the GPU. Ah, that's very promising because my one of my reservations is when I if I switch an editing software, I'll have to relearn all the the well how to how to use it basically. But if I can just upgrade to a new version of Vegas which has GPU encoding in it, then that's perfect. And I think it's not Sony anymore, is it? It's what's Magix Vegas or something? Movavi Video Editor Plus 2020. Ooh, is that okay? Does that use the GPU too? Used to use Adobe Premiere for editing. DaVinci Resolve. The Adobe Premiere, I think, is the highest end, isn't it? I think it's very pricey. I have not even looked at the price. But is that like, I think it's subscription based? Clip on mic, which you use for Toby. see so like this road mic is like what do you call it like boom mic kind of thing like the hot dog shaped mic so you can point it at you and uh, it still hears you the clip on mic is not where okay got it thanks video proc software for gpu bound encoding video proc software so how does it work does it have a built-in editor inside? Is that an editor itself or maybe just a renderer? Like you render it in a different software or you, you edit it in a different software and then render it using that video prop? Awesome voice quality. I've been seeing that in many of the content creators. I think it's the go-to mic for that kind of uh, shooting. Is it also good for like standard like this because I can like set a boom mic from far away and still hear me. Maybe I can use that as my replacement mic. Wouldn't be AS it wouldn't be ASMR anymore though. But at least we wouldn't have this mic here. <laughs> DaVinci Resolve has like different layout modes for people who are used to other editors. You know what? I think I can release the video early. I can probably release it as soon as the stream ends yeah I might do that we'll see how it works 
So I'll release it and it should get published immediately. So you can all hear the <laughs> lo-fi. That's a term, right? Some of the ASMR stuff have a, like a lo-fi version. That's as lo-fi as it can get in terms of the voice quality. Video Proc is a full bit editor. Ah, interesting. Okay, thanks. I'll have to look into that. Welcome back, Scotsman. How is Amsterdam? Wouldn't sound good if the boom mic is far. Oh, yeah, that's true. There is a certain range to it, I guess. Yeah, I need something that is pretty high sensitivity. Because I am a bit of a soft talker. But yeah. Okay. <clears throat> ah, I see. Yeah, that's the one I oftentimes see. The the road mic that's attached to the top of a DSLR. I think that's very famous. <laughs> nice. Okay, thank you. I'll research it. It's not nothing urgent, but it would be nice as a constant improvement point. So I think we can. Ah oh man! So I think we can turn off the FPS counter for now, just to enjoy the view a bit more. Focus on the view rather than the stats. So have a look where we are. Did we actually cross the border and I didn't notice? I, I remember passing through a toll. <laughs> Too busy. <laughs> My goodness. I think this is where we should be going to. So we are in the US now. Yeah. He gave us looking at the numbers a bit too hard. This is quite interesting. I'm looking at the memory usage for the VRAM. 8 gigs of GPU memory are being used now out of 10 gigs. We'll see if that continues climbing as we go. Maybe the, the memory leak is still there somewhere. New Train Simral DLC. Ooh. Diesel German Shunter. My goodness, I still haven't checked out Trains in World. Now would be a good time to check it out, I guess. But then again, I don't have time. Crap. Well, we'll see. Yes, I crossed the border. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Project ends. Have a nice trip. Oh, man. I should have done it the other way. I should have come from the north, go gone south, so I could tell stories first and then do the actual sightseeing after. But hopefully you guys enjoy the view nonetheless. <clears throat> For sure we'll explore that more in the coming days and weeks. But in the meantime, enjoy. Cool, thanks Jay. Will do. Hey, Google man. I'm using a steering wheel. Logitech G27. If you check the... I'm not sure how you check panels anymore on Twitch. I should have like the Amazon gear extension active in there again. Although the GPU there is still a bit outdated. I haven't uh, done that switch yet. But yeah, most of my rig is there. Including the peripherals. Steering wheel, track IR. Even the yoke is there, I think. <laughs> what 
what is the dragon chair? I already have a vampire chair, a Count Dracula chair. <laughs> hey, Juan. How have you been, man? We were just in Mexico. Where are we now exactly? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, this is uh, default SES now. Confirmed. So we passed through Chihuahua. Uh, crossed over to New Mexico. Crossed to Texas. And then back to New Mexico. And now we are on SES. Content. Any Colorado tidbits that we will be passing through here? Wouldn't the Four Corners monument be around here supposedly? I can Im I guess. Hmm. Wanted to buy a proper truck style steering wheel controller for ETS2. Yeah, I think people have to mod it in for now. I think who was it? Mark Armstrong Gaming? The guy with the triple monitors? And uh, like the full blown rig? I think he has like custom steering wheels and everything. Not sure what, what exact rig he has, but I guess it would uh, be a bit of a fortune. Oh my goodness, one. Sorry to hear that. Hope he feels better soon. Thank you for following. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining us in the stream. Feel free to chat. Join the rowdy bunch right there. So when are we doing the Among Us game, guys? Maybe we can plan it now. Jack, are you planning to stream it? Are you planning on streaming it? I have no plan, so I'm more than happy to join you when you stream. I heard you were able to convince Alex. How did they convince you, man? <laughs> How the heck did you say yes? <laughs> Next Wednesday. Okay, yeah, sounds good, man. I think you can make that. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> no idea, see? I knew Jack was toying with me, doing that trick. Oh, Alex already agreed. Oh, Clumsy already agreed. <laughs> Among Us, la. <laughs> Do you play that? I, I haven't installed it yet. I've only seen like a video of it ever. So I, I have a basic understanding of how to play it. But I don't even know how like the mini games work, like the, the tasks. Cyberlink Power Director MKV in 4K Ah, I see Yeah With, with me, Vegas, I need to uh, remux the recordings to MP4 Via OBS so I could access it No big deal, but yeah, it's an additional step The, the bigger issue for me is the incompatibility with GPU encoding disaster party. Have you played it, La? Rohan has been practicing. Cheater. <laughs> it should be like the first time for everyone. That would be the happy, like, uh, blind leading the blind situation. <laughs> the game is called Among Us. I think it's very famous these days. The one where you find the imposter. So the guys are planning to have a session. Jack will be streaming it next Wednesday his time. That will be Thursday morning for me, Wednesday evening for US folks. So check out his channel and uh, hopefully we'll uh, stab, stab, stab there. You have other <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm busy that day. <laughs> oh my goodness, I just realized this. If you look at the, how do I point at it? I'm going to zoom at it. If you point, if you look at that area, that right in front of the truck, where the road is the closest, 
you have all that movement and my goodness it just looks so smooth I haven't seen it that smooth before oh that looks so good how much FPS are we getting here oh yeah no wonder 100 plus because that not as much happenings in here it gives me goosebumps I have not had this smooth gameplay ever would be interesting how it looks with G-Sync on I'll probably fiddle with that I think with benchmarks you have to have it off because I think it can slow down the FPS in a way but overall the experience I think the smoothness the fluidity of how it looks in your eyes I think is much better sections and corners now that's great to hear and yeah we all already have like the powerhouse here maxed out maxed out truck the only truck that would beat this one i think is the mp5 you guys remember that how many triangles was that 11 million this one i think only has 7 million if i remember correctly so the real challenge is the mp5 <laughs> But no, I am very happy to be able to drive with John Ruta's Freightliner Classic XL without reservations anymore. Before, I would always say this is my favorite truck, but in reality, it's my favorite truck, but I have to only be driving in vanilla areas. You know, because otherwise the frames would drop too much. I would have to lower graphics settings and stuff like that. So I'm in the same boat as you guys now. I'm finally able to enjoy the the smoothness of it like how you guys have been like mr. 75 <laughs> like Jay there <laughs> I'm not so sure Jack I think I will have to check the minimum system requirements I might not meet them so if I don't if I'm not present on Wednesday you know what happened okay so my, my system is not powerful enough to run among us that's going to be my excuse, dibs on that one. Are, am I on ultra settings? Well, I think I have been always on ultra settings, but we can double check. That's a good point. Uh, scaling remains 100 because I'm using NVIDIA Profile Inspector. That's as high as it can go. Shadow is ultra. Texture size is even higher. 4096, I think, is the highest this texture size can go. I manually moved it to 8192 in the config file. Ultra high. Mirror resolution, I think I can go high. Now, the mirror distance, I'm a bit reserved. I'm a bit hesitating to make it ultra because I think this would also be more taxing on the CPU because it has to calculate more stuff so that might cause a lower FPS overall but yeah I think the mirror resolution we can put that to high everything else is good do it do it <laughs> fine 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 for science let's bring back the stuff again Okay, now it's as high as it can go. Alright, so 90, 92, 95. Let's do a quick check. If we go back and just make that medium again, the, the mirror settings. Let's see if there will be a significant change in FPS. Not that. The distance, distance. Ninety-two, ninety-four. Here it's oh, not that bad. Oh yes, it is. Like ten FPS. <laughs> but still, it's still above sixty, right? So I, I, I doubt I will notice that difference in my eyes if I don't look at the actual numbers. So definitely, we'll want that. The real test is when we get to a modded city like Chihuahua 
with that full mirror distance because a while ago if you see if you saw when we crossed Chihuahua I think we went as low as 45 FPS all right so the rendering distance is maximum yeah definitely lower FPS not reaching hundreds anymore but that's great so that the objects in the distance in the mirror they don't just disappear vanish out of thin air <gasps> what will vanish out of thin air is our truck if i flip this over there you go yeah i'm not sure either jack i think that's fairly new maybe came with 138 137 i don't know i just just keep it high <laughs> yeah, here okay so we're getting into a city here what city is this and you're, def you're definitely seeing the FPS drop there. Some more things to render. Interesting. Interesting how Truck Sim can still max out the 3080. That's very nice. Okay, cool. Let's hide that and enjoy the view. I do notice a lot of flickering in the mirrors though. I might want to restart the game because I know there is a setting in one of the NVIDIA profile inspector tweaks. There is a requirement so that the mirrors will be anti-aliased as well. Right now it seems like the mirrors, the mirrors part is not getting any anti-aliasing. Either that or I'm just looking too hard on it. Too hard at it. Maybe I'm being overly critical. fine I don't really recognize the frame drop it's not as much but we'll observe it benchmark again yeah that's definitely going lower here 70 okay let's let's try high on the mirror distance Yeah, immediately it jumps to 85, 88, so it's like, what, 10? 10 to 15 FPS difference? That's huge. Just with that single setting. So yeah, it's still not advisable, I think, to max that out. Let's stick with high for now. Yeah, I think you're right, Sarf. It's not because it's old that the GPU will just be able to max it out. It depends on the optimization of the game. And because it's old, the optimization is not at its um, best. Steam sale is on! Ooh. Guys, saying anything? Maybe I should look for a video editor in there in Steam. Maybe there is a new version of Vegas with the GPU. Coding enabled. Ah, there you go. Yeah, thanks, Jay. I have been missing out for so long. And I'm glad that I can now share this with you so you don't have to suffer along with me when you're watching the bits and streams. <laughs> so it's a win win win. How did you make it work, Jay? Did it just appear? Nice bridge right there. I guess that's for a train, huh? Let's take a photo there. GG. The mirror scale. Right. Ah, yes, thanks, G. Let me double check if those are set to one. Ah, yeah, you're right. Okay, okay, good catch, good catch.
Why did I change to two? Maybe because I changed the one of the settings, quality, mirror quality maybe. Okay, let's have a look. Right, so now that's one. Now that's one as well, cool. And if I double check that in the settings, yeah, I think this this one, the mirror resolution has to be medium. So that the anti-aliasing will take into effect. Thanks, Chi. Good catch there. I think that's working now. Might be placebo, but <laughs> let's just stick with that. Did I try soundtrack? Not yet, not yet. I'm still trying to find a use case for it. It looks very useful for streaming. But if I want to keep the audio also in the VOD, might negate the impact. So right now I'm still sticking with abstraction music. And I'm uh, pretty happy with abstraction, so... So far, so good. That's a great idea by Twitch, though. It's just bad implementation of the DMCA. Heard a lot of complaints. Saw a lot of uh, twi uh, tweets from Squirrel. He had to delete his entire VOD list, all his clips, highlights, and Twitch because of that DMCA random. Uh, well, not specific DMCA warning. But this soundtrack specifically looks very promising, especially for like full-time streamers. So you can have amazing sounds without the fear of getting blocked or penalized or whatnot. But I think what I would not be sure of is the sounds in soundtrack. If you play them in YouTube, like if you include them in the recording, will they be not subject to the content ID or copyright claims? Because I guess that's the entire entire um, clause, right? It's not included in the footage by default so that you are free from liability so you won't have music in your footage in your recorded footage but if you explicitly put them in then that brings back the danger yeah yeah i'll have to study up on that because if like if you play for, from so many artists and they're free now, but maybe later they switch, that can be quite catastrophic. But yeah, I have to read up on it eventually, not in the priority list for now though. As Asobo would say, it's in the backlog. <laughs> That's the excuse for everything. Let's put it in the backlog. FPS again. I wonder if that's because I. One second, guys, huh? 111. Let me try going ultra again here on the distance. It might be because of that mirror resolution. Because when we put it to high, we lost NVIDIA Profile Inspector. We reverted to the default scaling of the game, which is very bad in quality and performance. So maybe that's why we lost the FPS. So with this at medium, with NVIDIA Profile Inspector taking care of it, maybe we can go back to Ultra, mirror distance. That's the theory. I think we lost a bit of FPS still, but still a hundred, so let's keep it. Maybe in the city that will change. We'll see if I notice any slowdowns and you let me know as well. One 
second actually I am noticing that I am dropping some frames from time to time yeah like that one interesting let me know if you encounter any frame drops on your end okay Quality has to be medium or high. Our mirror view distance 900. Yes, I'm using the NVIDIA encoder. So I should get access. I should have the, the new one now with the... What do you call it? The second generation? Third generation? NVIDIA encoder. The RTX encoder maybe is a pro more proper there. Mirror view distance. It's set to 400. I don't think I want to set it to 900. <laughs> that will make it even slower. Wow. <clears throat> okay, let's leave it there for now. Um, go back here let's put the distance to high and let's see if I still got get frame drops yeah I'm still getting you from time to time which is a bit sucky and I am thinking if it's related to the monitor refresh rates. Well, well, we'll see. Okay. So how is it so far, guys? The image quality. Do you notice anything different in the in the stream? Basically, I can't really see it myself. I guess it's smoother but in terms of the quality is it more blurry is it more crisp because now I'm not using my CPU anymore I'm using the GPU for even the stream and I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do <clears throat> and it's a beautiful sunset We will try 1080 60 FPS next stream. See if that works. That should be even more crisp, I think. If the bitrate can handle it at least. Then 8075. Hey Frisky Panda, how are you man? Run at that on your 2080 Ti and drop between 5 and 7 FPS. 10 to 12 in cities. Oh, you mean the the mirror distance? Nice. That's actually very good. Ah. <laughs> Still not powerful enough. It's never powerful enough. Giveaway! <laughs> Who knows, right? They might have more promos in the future. Strix! Rogue Strix! Oh my goodness. I was pretty scared though when I was installing the card. I was. Uh, I measured it beforehand, but I was seriously scared that it might not work that might not fit the casing because my casing is a bit um, minimal minimalistic I could say a bit dated and a bit basic but I think all in all it went very well with the theme 
It's just the cables are not uh, <laughs> helping with the theme. <laughs> Organized chaos look maybe could be the theme of the PC. <clears throat> Waiting for Colorado. Yes, same here. I think everyone expects it's going to come out with 139, right? Or very soon after. Like all the other DLCs. Which came, which are like coming out right after the official update during that time. I think we should sleep soon. <clears throat> yes, I think so. My fearless forecast would be mid-November, but I have not really been keeping on track staying on track for 139 updates so I'm not sure how far it is along in the development do you guys have any news have you, has anyone been looking at the forums been involved in discussions about 139 or testing it for yourselves the last time I checked it there I have not seen a lot of 139 compatible mods yet but yeah in all honesty I have not been looking so hard I have been quite busy with flight sim Hey, Deso! You're playing the new open beta. How's it going so far? How's the mod support now? Are a lot of mods updated now? Still use a save GPU and give... Wait. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now that would be the... the... most extreme giveaway, huh? Quite a few map mods updated to 139. <coughs> That's great. Oh yeah, even the Chihuahua, even the Team Reformer maps are compatible. Although he advises against it, Eblem advises against it. Because he says 139 is still unstable. But that might be more for like the end user point of view, just you know, keeping it safe. So those who are not keen on having any bit of instability would stay away from it. <laughs> I thought I was behind. I think Rohan is way, way behind me. <laughs> Rohan has been living under a rock in terms of truck sim. Because he's too busy playing among us. <laughs> and Stark find somewhere to sleep. One second. Uh, no sleepy area here. There is something there in Farmington. That is the closest one. So we'll go out the far way here. Sleep right there and refuel as well. Actually, there seems to be a nice point here. That looks good. 59 miles one hour from now. In terms of fuel... Oh, we have plenty more. More than half. That dial in center of the screen. like them to do Virginia East Coast. Does ETS2 still have a bigger map than ETS nowadays? Well, I guess if you include pro mods, huh? Well, yeah, I guess if you include all the map mods, that's very true. <laughs> but from a vanilla point of view, I think they are matching up now. The last time I heard at least. Same in eight years of the games we're playing. <laughs> yes, same with me. Same with me. Put put back in what the ten seventy. Oh my goodness. For encoding, that will be pretty scary for me. 
I, I <laughs> it's a nice idea but I think implementation wise a lot of games a lot of software are very badly implemented for multi GPUs you know that they tend to like it's a very common issue that they pick the wrong card so like how it is for the laptops which have an integrated GPU and a dedicated one I hate going through that complexity <laughs> Do you guys know how, is there an easy way to measure the power consumption of the PC? Because I think the most accurate way is to really need like a device to measure like the power output from the plug. But is there like a software based like hardware info stat on it? Even a rough estimate doesn't have to be super accurate. I just want to get an idea of how much my PC is um, requiring the moment yeah from the wall power I believe is the best yeah I'm actually not sure Jack um, maybe I'm just not looking at the right number I quickly scanned it but didn't find anything but maybe I'm just yeah maybe I scanned it too quickly should show how many watts CPU ah I guess you're right and then you just add that and uh, add a bit more buffer in there for the peripherals and you should get a rough ballpark figure it's a good idea I'll have a look have a good night surf yeah quite late in there huh what time is it uh, 2.30 or is are you on CET have a good night man have a great weekend it's not very accurate as a PSU is only 80 plus percent efficient. Yeah, true. But um, I think for my needs it should be enough. Just to get a very very rough estimate on how things are looking like. Just better than nothing. Hey! Fariz NB. Thank you for subbing man. Came out of nowhere. Thank you for the support. K-pop for the win. <laughs> Oi, who turned out the lights? <laughs> it's going to be a very good indication. Or when Mrs. Clumsy goes out of the room and uh, complains about the lack of power. She actually did that yesterday. Not lack of power, but lack of internet. Because I was setting up here, I was... I was recording the installation right and in the beginning of the process she went out like, there is no internet and it's like huh why not and then I looked at the power apparently when I switched off the PC I also switched off the router <laughs> like, oops <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh, playing it too safe got an earful that's <laughs> uh, fine now though no but mrs clumsy has been very supportive of the of the youtube journey past couple of weeks she has been very proud of me she has been showing off the stuff in her instagram stories and whatnot I would not have expected this kind of CP GPU usage. My GPU is basically maxing out the entire time. In Truxim. And the GPU memory is almost 9 gig now, it's at 8.7 gigs. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh my goodness. I was hoping I could stay like at 60% GPU usage. Well, maybe if I stick to all the same settings, I could. But then I upped everything. That's how it is, right? When you upgrade, you get the FPS boost for a couple of... For a very short time. And then you start getting funny ideas. Oh, what if I add this? What if I add this? And this, and this, and this. And then you end up with the same FPS as before. <laughs> but with all the bells and whistles. Thankfully, at this point, we are in a much better FPS still. But um, yeah, the, the GPU. No earrings for you. <laughs> Oh no, no, um, maybe a new monitor will do the trick too. <laughs> Sad to see. Oh crap, this is not the right one. My bad, my bad. A 3080 for her PC, oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm not even putting the 1070 on her PC anymore. She has a 970 in there, the one I had initially. She hardly plays games in, anymore, in there though. She mostly just uses it for like Microsoft Office stuff. You know, it's, it's still much easier to work on a desktop as you're browsing, as you're working on some files. <laughs> I think I think the GPU, the 970 is sleeping 24-7 anyway. Like, use me, use me! <laughs> Speaking of use me, use me, that's one thing that I'm still not sure about. I heard that the 3080, at least the tough, should have the fans at idle, well at zero RPM, until around 50 degrees. But that's not what I noticed. At least in this model, it keeps on spinning even at idle, which is quite weird. I think I'll have to continue looking into that. I googled it a bit and saw a couple of guys reporting the same. But it might also be hardware info. Because I know there are some GPUs that are actually like, they don't sleep because there's someone monitoring them. Like they're too conscious. <laughs> so they don't go to sleep mode basically because there is a... Uh, with someone that's polling them or something like along those lines maybe it's something like that but then again if i turn off the monitors then i don't know if it's stopping so <laughs> it's like <laughs> chicken and egg well i guess i could look at the fan but i'm too lazy to open my pc again <clears throat> hey raggy glad you made it today how are you hey fifi thanks for the follow Hope you find the mods less useful. Feel free to join us in chat and ask around if you're looking for something specific. We can do our best to help. Hmm, it's not working. Can I just detach? There we go, that works. Uh, maximum performance. That what? That's what I have set to now. Although initially, I had it to optimized power i think which was the default but still the fans were running then again not really looking forward to having them stop so not really a big issue for me now the problem is because i stopped in a very awkward angle how the heck am i going to attach to my trailer oh it worked nice You like your PC cool all the time. Yeah, well, the thing is, I the fan stopped for a time. I think it worked for a time, that quiet mode. Because if it's sitting at idle, it's at like 30 degrees anyway. 33 to 40, somewhere around that range. And if the fans are spinning at that point, it's not providing any additional cooling. So it's a bit of a waste of RPM. That's why I guess some of the logic is to stop the fans to save on wear and tear when it's not being used and it's not providing any cooling at all. But yeah, when it's running, definitely. Also, I'm not sure why, but I can only see two fans in my stats. Is that normal when you have a triple monitor, triple fan setup, that only two of the fans are 
have the RPM indication. Because I don't see it in hardware info at all. <clears throat> Maybe one of the fans is like included in the other. I have no idea. Probably depends on the card, huh? How the sensors are set up. Samaritan. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to look into the topic. I remember there was a... Maybe I can look at the box. If there is something in the specs of the video card telling about that silent operation thing. I'll have to look into it more. Well, I have a fan 1 and fan 2 and I can see their current RPM in terms of RP actual RPM number and RPM percentage, so their fan speeds. But I would expect there is a fan 3 because there are 3 fans in the GPU. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking for fan 3 basically, but maybe that's not how it works. Yeah, because before my 1070 had two fans, but I only had one fan um, metric. So now I have three fans, I have two fan metrics. Maybe that's how it goes. <clears throat> Maybe the first two fans are tied to the same number and then the third fan has its own number. <laughs> Why are these guys not moving? That's true, blah. Yeah, actually, that happened to me. So when I upgraded, when I booted up the system, hardware info was there and it could not find anything on my GPU. Like, all my GPU numbers are gone. And when I looked, it couldn't even detect my GPU. Like, everything was okay except hardware info. And then I realized I had an old version. <laughs> so I apparently probably turned off up automatic updates at some point and uh, yeah probably had it from before the 3080 was released so I updated and when I when it installed it again when I ran it then all the numbers came up maybe it's something related to that <clears throat> yeah maybe yeah like right now it's saying 1897 for fan 1 Fan 2 is 1892. They're very close together, like only a few RPMs separate, but you'll know they are different numbers. And both fans are at like 74% fan speed. So I'm guessing those are three fans. Now, as we have entered vanilla area, since a while back, I'm expecting that we should be getting much better FPS. Although, that being said, Eblem has been upping his optimization skills ever since, so maybe it's not going to be that far. Yeah, it's still the same, 100 plus more or less. Your GPU doesn't show any fans. Yeah, I guess it depends on the GPU. If your GPU has sensors on its fan, then you would see something. But it, if it doesn't, it would just be blank. I think it's very dependent on the hardware. Doing good, Raggy. Doing good. I can finally show the upgrade. Um, truth be told, though, I was so happy when it booted up. Like, I was so nervous that something went wrong. Because as I was installing, you know, I'm not really good at hardware stuff. Um, and it might be one of the side effects actually. So if... Oh, later I'll, sh I'll share the video, but... If you can imagine where the CPU slot is for the power, so you need to put that near the CPU, right? Um, that connection to the power supply. And if you have a big cooler, 
the cooler would be in the way of that CPU slot or port or whatever. And that's what happened to me. So I had a hard time fitting my hand through that small slot and I was too lazy. I, would, I didn't want to remove my CPU, apply thermal paste again and everything. It was too much stress for me. So I tried my best to squeeze my hand in there. I managed to do so, but I might have nudged the fan just a teeny weeny bit. Actually, no, not, not a teeny weeny bit, but I think I'm getting a bit lower CPU scores compared to before because of that reason mainly. Maybe one reason is the more restricted airflow because the GPU is bigger and my case is small. But one reason could also be that the CPU isn't anymore as the cooler of the CPU isn't anymore as flat on the CPU itself. Maybe as I was fiddling with it, it kind of raised a micro millimeter or whatever it is. So it's not as um, flat. <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking of all these theories, but so far, yeah, the, the CPU took like a, what? A few percentage lower in terms of perf. I think it's not boosting as well. Hey, Fariz. Yes, I tried it. Um, I tried it initially. Autopilot seems to be marginally better. Although there are of course new bugs introduced. <laughs> Some people are also reporting crash desktop. So uh, be careful. But yeah, most of the mods are not compatible. The working title mods are not compatible or were not compatible. But they were already working on it a couple of hours back, so it's highly likely they released an update already by now. We'll see. Whee! Awesome NL, no worries. Have a good night. Glad to have you with us. Hope you enjoyed and uh, hope you have a great weekend. Good luck with school. Transplanted your brother's mobile and power supply to a new case. So the 2070 Super. Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly, exactly. And in the video, you'll see it a bit. But when I power it on the first time, there was nothing. There were no lights. I was like, oh, what did I do wrong? Uh, and apparently, I forgot to switch the PSU on. You know that zero one switch at the back. It's like, ah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Thank goodness. And then when I powered it on, it was good. Yeah. yeah, nervousness. But yeah, I'm not really very hardware oriented. For me, I see it as a necessary evil, but I, I'd, I'd gladly stick to software. I mean, that's why I'm a software engineer. <laughs> I'm very bad at the hardware stuff. Much rather stay in front of my screens as much as I can. That's where I feel at home. All the fiddling around with my hands, I try to minimize that as much as I can. It really takes a huge toll on me. Yesterday as I finished the recording, I finished the assembly, the installation and cleaning up, I was so tired. Um, I, don't, I don't recall the last time I felt that tired and exhausted and defeated in a way, which was strange because I, it was successful, but I was just so tired I could hardly think. My body was aching and everything and I think I was suffering from a bit of hangover as well <laughs> because <laughs> maybe that was the main reason <laughs> because the previous night we were finally able to meet some of our friends here. We haven't met since the quarantine began since 2020 and now it's safe enough to meet. So we, we met and we had a uh, fancy, well not really fancy but a nice uh, dinner at an Italian restaurant, the one that I shared with before. We had a bit of wine and uh, yeah, it was a bit, I didn't feel it initially, but as I got more exhausted, I felt it more like, oh, is this a hangover or is this exhaustion or is this both? <laughs> Maybe a mix of the two. But yeah, normally I wouldn't get like a hangover from wine, so maybe it's more of exhaustion. You two here prefer software, yes. <laughs> 
yeah so i really have huge respect for the guys who dabble in hardware stuff you know the content creators who do all these reviews do the this assembly and everything oh my goodness i could not even imagine doing that for one second using a screw on your gpu uh the screwdriver gives me goosebumps just imagining it in the the bad kind i could hardly assemble my own pc <laughs> and as, as you will see later or as some of you guys have seen cable management is out of the question just making it boot is the goal <laughs> although i was a bit ambitious in the beginning i did mention something about cable management but <laughs> By the end of it all, I was so tired. I was like, oh, give me a break. Let's get this done with. Let's get this over with. Check all it gives is the Chinese version. Which one is this, Risky Panda? Sure, just had a bit. Yeah, just two bottles. <laughs> no, two bottles shared it among four people. So that's not bad. But I think I had like um, most of it. Because... <laughs> They were not drinking so much, but we managed to finish everything. So I might have had like, I don't know, three-fourths of the entire thing. I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe not that bad. Weather here is very hot. Well, in my, in my desk at least. Enjoy, Raggy. Thanks for dropping by. You have the funds from not buying the 3080. <laughs> um, in all honesty, not planning on buying new games. So um, I, I'm sticking with my uh, decision from before that I want to go more in depth rather than uh, wider. So I think I'm still going to be focusing mainly on flight sim and truck sim. So I will probably be buying more add-ons, more paid add-ons or more in reach and more peripherals like eventually when the honeycomb yoke is fully supported and no more additional bugs is there. I try to get my hands on the yoke and throttle, stuff like that maybe. Maybe a better monitor. But the games themselves I think unfortunately I know some people are looking forward to it. I probably will not be checking out as many games as before unless something really compelling uh, comes up. <clears throat> Halloween sale. I will definitely be going window shopping. And if you guys find like a nice video editor that's on sale on, on, sale on Steam, I might get that one. I'll probably look for a Vegas in I remember the first ever Vegas I had no that's not even a Vegas the movie studio like the the simpler version I got from Steam and it was good I eventually switched to Vegas but the old version so I'm hoping for an equivalent one with GPU support <clears throat> hey Jack called it <laughs> Jack called it apparently. I just read that comment. Tada! <laughs> yes. That's on the list. Maybe a better table. Yeah, hardware. Although, I probably will have a hard time convincing, convincing Mrs. Clumsy because I already have a yoke. So I might need to either sell my old yoke. Which, I, I, as you guys know, I'm very averse to selling my old stuff. I hate having to socialize or having to, you know, post something and haggle and deal with other people for selling my stuff. It's so, so much of a hassle, so I'm not very good at selling my old stuff. But I think that's the only way I will be allowed to buy a new yoke. <laughs> so if I'm able to get rid of the old one. The 
video. Is that available on Steam? That's the one on sale. Ah, all right. I'll have a look at that. Is there a Vegas uh, specific one? It's my reservation about a GPU, a, a different video editor is, uh, well, I'll have to relearn. And I've gotten quite comfortable with Vegas already. So it is definitely another factor. Giveaway confirmed. Full motion rig incoming. <laughs> oh, good luck getting the approval from that. I don't have space anymore. <laughs> we need a bigger house first. Is there a Vegas at all on Steam? Actually not sure anymore. I think the Vegas I got was outside. I think Magix, the, the company who bought it, had like a promo at one point and that's what I got. So I have it externally. But it's a bit... It's a bit... I'm not sure if that's normal but I hate it. It's a bit finicky in a way that when you open it, it always has those promos. Get the new Vegas now. You know, something like that. It's like you get you got the the cheap version, which is to be fair I did. <laughs> but even if you say don't show me this again, it still shows every time. <laughs> you can't get you can't get rid of the ad basically. It's a very small thing, but it's uh, quite annoying. It doesn't give you that feeling that you bought something. It's like you got the free version, the way things are being thrown at you in terms of offerings. Movavi is on sale as well. Wow. Oh. Goodness. Well, I, I guess, yeah. I guess it's not really going to be a deal breaker for me having to switch platforms because I don't really do a lot of editing. Mostly it's just cuts, volume adjustments, speed maybe for time lapse. But minimal fancy stuff, I mean, even, I guess even Windows Movie Maker can do that. It's just the rendering options and the few bells and whistles that I need. But I'm sure most of the video players, video editors have that already. Just need it fast and uh, good quality. <clears throat> so I'll check those out in Discord after the stream. Thanks, Jack and Jay. What flag is that? Ah, yeah, I remember that. That was super fancy. Are those effects included? Well, that was nice. <laughs> Too high revs here. Yeah. Has anyone heard from Zmod? I think a couple of days back or a week back, I checked on his um, Steam Workshop items. Of course, a lot of people were requesting for 139 compatible versions, but he has not replied yet to any of them the last time I checked. He might be MIA. Crap. That will be... Uh, possible deal breaker for 139 not having Z mod sounds around you have a few DLC add-ons effects ah I see I see that's pretty cool does it have GPU encoding as well yeah how do you know if it has like a 100% GPU as Jay would call it what does that mean I'm very much a newbie when it comes to video editors I try not to edit as much as possible to save on time, so I try to do everything in one shot. But I think eventually I'll need to get into it. I'm planning on doing longer flights eventually. Recording the entire thing. 
having patrons and subs have access to the full flight but the video I'll be releasing on YouTube will be like the, the abridged version you know, so it's easier for consumption and the more hardcore guys who want to get the entire thing in there would have access to it as a patron or as a sub it's, it's, I think it's a very common practice in aviation, in real aviation but I think in flight simming it's very much uh, applicable as well so I think one of the problems I have is the videos I make, I'm really happy with them I'm really proud of them but they're too long, like one hour not everyone can sit for one hour so a lot of people don't even click on it but if it was like 20-30 minutes I think it will get a lot more traction and people who are more interested in more details can get into the nitty gritty with the full video coverage and whatnot. but in order to do that I would have to edit more videos and that will mean definitely more time needed so I'll need all the help I can get in terms of GPU working for me instead of just sitting idle the entire time <clears throat> by the way when is election again for my US friends is that next week on missing it just for my curiosity ah, I see next Tuesday or my Wednesday cool and how long does it usually take for the the results to come in I think the last election I was tuning in at some points yeah, you guys have a, a very interesting way of um, counting the votes, right? It's not just like flat numbered votes, it's more like a per state and each state has like a certain weight to it, is that how it goes? That's how I understand it at least and it's the very basic sense. Like a bigger state would have more weight than a smaller state, I don't know. Interesting. We have, we have this random event that pops up from time to time. That may be a bad question this year. All because of all the restrictions. Sorry. interesting water effects there um, I guess Jack if it uses your GPU while you're rendering and then it uses the GPU encoder <laughs> that's my only indication but I, I wouldn't know either yeah. for me it only uses the CPU so my GPU sits as like 0% 1% at most the entire time the sound of the police police <laughs> electoral threshold I'm not sure how it works but yeah I think so but the voting will be physical still right I think even here in Singapore when they had their elections recently this year uh, the voting was still physical there was a lot of social distancing measures but uh, there were a lot of measures but um, yeah, it was still face to face. I think it's too sensitive to have as electronic for now. Not quite ready yet. Wow, this cliff face looks beautiful. Utah definitely has such a nice... Um, what do you call these again? Me mesas? A five times acceleration for uh, compared to 47 times for video proc sorry I still don't get it so it's much faster because it uses the GPU is there a way to like know that aside from just comparing the raw numbers thank you 
you. could do is provide you with editing software <laughs> oh that would be nice right if they if they had their own they probably would have <laughs> but it is part of the deal I would have gladly showed it if it utilized the 3080 to its maximum thanks JL just read up on it and pizza oh yeah i haven't shared the the, the pic yet oh and we had pizza yeah, that night when i had wine i ate just a tad more <laughs> than usual and by tad meaning a huge lot we had two pastas two pizzas and a salad to make it to give the illusion that the food is healthy <laughs> for four people <laughs> and uh I think um, they sometimes call me the janitor fish because <laughs> I tend to be the one who cleans up after everybody. If someone doesn't, is not able to finish their wine or finish their food, like it should be like two slices each per pe per pizza type or something like this. But if someone wants, cannot have more, I tend to be the automatic. They would look at me first. That's you, yeah. I don't uh, reject it. I don't decline it. I know that that's how I was programmed. Maybe that's because of my childhood. I really eat everything that's on the table, even if it's not mine. <laughs> as long as I have permission, I will eat everything. So that night I was so full. My goodness. Like maybe twice the amount I usually eat. And yes, all pizzas. There was this interesting pizza flavor, truffle, truffle mushroom something, cream cheese pizza. Oh, uh, very nice. Gives you that tingling sensation whenever you bite off from it. You want. Unfortunately, I was not able to take a photo. <laughs> As always, because I was too busy eating. Hey Dan, how are you man? Thanks for joining. <sighs> so how else can I maximize my GPU? You guys have any ideas? <laughs> Oh my goodness! Yes, I'm, I'm looking at the GPU memory, guys. It's at 9 gig now. There definitely is a memory leak here in the game. We started at like 6 gigs. VRAM being consumed. And now I'm almost there. 90% memory usage. That probably isn't the fault of the video card. <laughs> Probably trucks him not cleaning up properly after its memory. Should play Doom RDR2. <laughs> uh, no, I cannot handle new games. <laughs> One, because of hard drive space constraints, but two, because of time constraints as well. That's time I could have spent flying. Oh, speaking of flying, join the VA guys, join the virtual airlines. It's so active these days, I'm so happy. They've gotten a lot of new people, a lot of new patrons even, who are more than willing to provide support for the channel. And they also get these extra benefits. But it's so I'm so happy whenever I read through the chat. Everyone just doing jobs and working together. It's great. Teamwork. 
makes the dream work. Isn't that how they say? <laughs> Thanks, Rohan. Ah, yeah, I think that's CPU, right, right. Yeah, that's I think also how my Vegas does it. There is like a CUDA encoder, but it never works. I think it was like an old um, implementation. Yeah, I'll have to read up on how you determine that the encoder you're choosing is a GPU encoder. Like, can does it look like OBS where you can actually see NVENC in there? Or Yeah, I'm, I'm not so sure how it works. I'll have to see. Don't ask me. Don't ask me either. We're just guys fiddling with buttons here. And somehow it still works. So... H264 is the codec. Ah, that's true. That's a good point. X264 is the CPU encoder. Thank you. I think by default the encoding is encoder is CPU. But I guess there would be some different term they use to specify its GPU like CUDA or something oh very nice are we in Oregon now? sure looks like it the default usually so anyone planning on getting the AMD cards if you had a choice if everything was available which GPU would you get if you could get anything <coughs> I really have my eye on the AMD in terms of I want to keep an eye on it because I'm very interested to see how far it would go and how how well it would perform in the real world and all the other applications not necessarily wanting it like over the 3080 definitely going with the 3080 but pretty interesting how far they've taken it All I know is a one hour edited vid takes around 20 minutes. Oh, that's actually pretty fast. I think my settings are also wrong. I think I have a 50 Mbps bit, um, bit rate. Might be too high. But for me, when I like the 20 minute video I rendered, took like one hour and 30 minutes which was super long it's surprising actually OpenCL uses it to accelerate playback of the timeline in GPU enabled effects options video see I think I have that on but that's only for when you're editing right the, that when you're actually rendering that's a different thing FPS in this area. I, I noticed that it was a bit smoother. Wonder. Clumsy trucking truck and trailer AI combinations in your single player game. Oh, nice. Is that a mod you made, Chi? Mind uploading that somewhere? I'll, I'll happily post it in the mods list for everyone to join in. 
no bitrate for rendering I see I see I think an ideal one for me would be 25,000 or 12,000 I'm not so sure I wish that it's possible to just set the same CQP setting but maybe that's only possible if you're using the NVENC encoder so that I can just put it one is to one with what I use in OBS versus what I use for the renderer the video editor oh this looks so good it looks so smooth oh that's so cool thanks she appreciate it shame the only shameful thing is so i did my upgrade yesterday right uh, so thursday i installed the new gpu wednesday no it's also thursday okay again 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 so thursday early morning i was so excited because it was installation day and i woke up middle of the night and I was so when I woke up, I was seriously hoping that it was around 4 a.m. already, so that I wouldn't have to sleep anymore, so that I can get up and start working on the the thing. And when I looked, I think it was around 4:20 a.m. I was like, yes. And then I didn't need to sleep anymore. I read up on comments, replied, caught up on Discord and everything. And then I brewed my coffee. And then the first thing I did was to benchmark. So I still had my old rig, so I recorded a footage of flight sim, doing a flight in Asheville, doing a flight in Heathrow, compared FPS, so I would have a comparison point later on, and then I did the same for ETS2, so I got the frame rate there, so I'm not changing any, in ATS I'm, I maxed out all the settings, but in ETS2 I'll keep it as is, just to get an apples to apples comparison just want to see really in terms of numbers how far I can take it but in <laughs> and, and then I proceeded with installation right and today flight sim released the update thankfully it was not very different in terms of performance at least not so far but I just hate the fact that I don't have like a really one is to one comparison anymore because my benchmarks for the 1070 were on an older version and now we're in a newer version uh, I was actually waiting for that patch that's why I decided on Thursday uh, benchmark time but then Asobo delayed the patch so I was like okay uh, no choice I have to go with the old version and now they release the new version <laughs> in the middle of uh, my old and new card but we work with what we have and I'm I will not go back to the old GPU <laughs> as much as I can if I can have any say in it I, I don't have enough um, endurance for hardware stuff once I install something it's going to stay there it's too much effort otherwise for me For 14 for 40 30 mbps ah that sounds good h265 15 mbps nice hey muscle man thanks for joining sorry missed your message how are you Too funny, but you had the same problem. I thought I was alone in that. <laughs> yeah, I was really trying it, trying so hard to fit that in. I was like, why, the, why don't the pins align? And I got even so scared that 
isn't this like a PC? Isn't there like a, only a single PCIe slot? Why does it look so different? And then I, I found the plastic. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. I don't remember having that before though in my older GPU. Maybe that's only for like the premium stuff. They have their own cap. I actually wanted to record as well but I missed it. Uh, I, I forgot to record it. The back of the video card, you know the slots for the HDMI, the display port, they had caps in them. I also wanted to record it and show that this time I know what to do. I remove it. Because apparently a lot of people missed that as well. I watched a video of a PC maker here in Singapore. So they make custom PCs and they make videos as well from time to time on YouTube. They did an unboxing in th of the 3080 and they were saying something. I think they had this as an internal joke. But apparently they're getting a lot of calls, a lot of complaints, saying that their GPU is not working. Their uh, GPU does not have ports in them like how they would attach their monitors and apparently a lot of people are missing that these are actually caps that you remove so they thought initially there are no ports so I think it's a common error, common mistake <laughs> yeah hopefully not false caps <laughs> oh my goodness <clears throat> the false cap topic are well below why what happened to your cpu did something change 32 degrees celsius inside your room that's hot oh for the cpu that's cold my goodness that is super cold i don't think i ever get those temps in my cpu my idle temps are at 54, something like that. But then again, with the rise in boosting non-stop for every single task, it's hard to really see it fully idle, right? It would always, the, the, I'm monitoring the V-core, the, the voltage. It would always amp up randomly every second or so because it's doing something, a small task that it can boost up with. CPU 34 now. Goodness, your coolers are amazing. In summer, your temps were in the 40s, 50s, sometimes as high as 65. Wow. So that really has a huge effect, huh? The climate, the ambient temps. GPU is at 36. Nice. these guys cause a problem like that oh should have stayed here though because I could have slept oh that's okay it's no bit of night driving for a change room is not very well ventilated join the club you see my face right now I have like that Korean look I'm not sure if it's only in Korea, but in, in, in Korea it seems like a, a very popular thing. You have that kind of like shiny face. It gives you that. For them it's like a healthy look. In the Philippines that's more like you're too oily. <laughs> you have an oily face. But yeah. Yo, swappy! Twitch, baby! Is that still a thing? might be using old terms now thanks for nine months man glad you made it to the stream how are you have you seen the new patch yet que horror the horrors of the new flight sim patch <laughs> G -g 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 
Let's irritate Jack a bit. There it is. The proper CG logo. <laughs> Not inverted anymore. <clears throat> Double check your temps yesterday. 25 CPU, 38 GPU. Oh my goodness, you guys. Can I stop here, maybe? for a bit it's going to make the inverted logo now <laughs> there it is <laughs> perfect when I forgot to fuel up huh just in time let's go and fuel up here and it's dark. <laughs> Did you guys see that app? I think it's an iOS app only, or at least it's only stable in iOS. Apparently, there's this new app called um, Epoch Cam or something. But you can make it into a webcam, your phone, wirelessly. And there is almost no latency. And the quality looks very good. I'm going to look into that. Because I have an old iPhone 7 here from my dad. And uh, might be good, actually. For some shots, like if, if you need like a shot from behind like this, you can do like a wireless webcam type without needing all the fancy cables that go all the way from the PC. If it works that is. So very promising. I have to look into it. Shame it's not available in Android or at least not re as reliable in Android. But might be interesting to look into. Card is performing great. Surprised that Truxim is actually able to max it out though. We're actually at 9.5 gigs VRAM usage right now. It's been constantly climbing through the stream. Probably attributed to some kind of memory leak in the game. Either in the game or in OBS. Not sure actually. Because I think I'm the only one reporting that kind of memory leak. Droid cam. Yeah, I'll have to look because this Epoch cam it has been bought by Elgato, I think, and they've updated it since, so it's, it's become more polished. So that says a lot if uh, Elgato is behind it now. And I was really surprised with the latency. In uh, whose video did I watch? I think I watched uh, Epos Vox. Yeah, he's very good. The Stream Professor, I think is his title. Great resource for streamers and content creators. Does a lot of, rec of reviews of uh, that kind of stuff. So very objective, very comprehensive tests. And he compared like a normal webcam versus the wirelessly connected um, iPhone. And the latency was basically the same. You could not distinguish a difference. of 66 ah, I see <laughs> 66 really oh you mean like in the the stock variants I guess if you overclock it it could go hotter connected to the PC or mobile works amazing too 
Oh, that's cool. What software does it use to connect? Flip the <laughs> Blame Jay. gotten comments there are some people who prefer just the engine just the ambient noise from the engine more natural having music is a bit more how do you say streamy so it's nice but it's not as natural for so for those who are more hardcore fans of like engines and trucks and kind of like just the bass sound in there and yeah to a point i agree with them because i kind it kind of muddles up sometimes the music is nice but sometimes it doesn't fit with the driving it's like just having music for the sake of having music so i'm trying to balance it still trying to find the, the sweet spot but uh, yeah for now you guys can play music on your own PCs if you are feeling like there is something missing thirty eighty Ti would would they would they release something maybe that would be the seven nanometer huh yes PC upgrade not sure working on uh, optimizing this first for now <laughs> but yeah a monitor would be pretty interesting although I ha I'll have to sell my old one which I'm always I always have reservations against just because I hate selling my stuff having to deal with other people <laughs> such a hassle for me forty nine inch Samsung monitor my goodness four K or fourteen forty P What games do you usually play Rohan? I think for simulators a, a wide a, a super wide ultra wide might be very nice get that extra peripheral vision I think that's more worth it than going from 1440 to 4k <clears throat> it's having a peripheral view like this and a, a track IR definitely helps but having something on your peripheral oh my goodness I can only imagine how that works so like you see the airport on your left, you don't even have to look at it. Oh, so good. But in the 1440 to 4K, you get a 4K much crisper knob, but then it's still a knob. So I mean in terms of image quality, definitely. But I think in terms of functionality, having that extra peripheral vision would be more useful in the long run. 
you kind of get used to the 4K eventually. But that's my point of view. <clears throat> I am very much into the the wide screens because of that aspect. Not very friendly for content creation though at the moment. Yeah, I'm still not sure about that one. Yeah, I agree with Swabi, ultra wide. I know, right? <laughs> Guys, did you know Flight Sim works well with ultra wide monitor? <laughs> yeah. But then you'll have an empty space. And I doubt it's as optimal as having an ultra wide. Yeah, I don't think it's natively supported. So you have a 4K screen, but you'll set it at a, a 1440 ultra wide. Hmm. A bigger monitor. Get a VR. <laughs> well, with VR comes great responsibility. You'll need 90 FPS. <laughs> that's what they said before. Not really been keeping up to date on VR. I'm still not a fan, I don't know why. Maybe I'm just too old school. I tried the VR for my brother, it's cool, it's very nice, but I don't think I would use it long term. Like for me, it's more of a novelty. Than, uh, than something that I would look forward to using every day. I still prefer the monitors, but that's maybe because of content creation needs. Like all the utility these extra panels give me, maybe that's something that I uh, value more. Maybe that's why your use case might be very different. Depends on the game, not on flight sim. <laughs> 90 FPS not on flight sim, except on the main menu. <laughs> Goodness. But yeah. Um, it's quite understandable though. Being a simulator and everything, I think x would be on the same boat. Being a simulator, there are so many computations happening. You can't just fake something, you just really have to simulate how the real thing works. And that means more and more computation, so... It's not the same as with AAA games where you can... ...leverage and skip out on... ...reality. <laughs> 10 FPS, 2 FPS. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure if in Flight Sim, the 90 FPS VR would still apply because if it's slow paced, maybe not. But then again, if you move your head, it's not really slow paced anymore, is it? Like if, if you move your head like that, you'll need a fairly fast FPS, otherwise it will get quite um, stuttery, quite dizzying. So in a way, it is still fast paced in that point of view. And with VR, you have a lot of movement. So I guess when you're sitting like this on cruise, that will be a completely different um, thing. But yeah, it, it would be interesting how the VR, closed beta VR for flight sim is going. Because if it also requires 90 to be smooth and not dizzying, it would be a very good motivation for flight sim, for Asobo, to really push on the optimization on the CPU side. Because I've done some initial tests on the 3080 and flight sim, my goodness, there is a lot of CPU throttling happening. Now I understand what the, the complaints are all about in the forums. When I had my 1070 and people were complaining about the main thread limiting everything, it was like, no, I mean, the GPU is always the bottleneck. <laughs> Apparently my GPU is always the bottleneck. <laughs> But yeah, the CPU is very throttled. So many computations happening. Yes. If they want to make VR work, they have to make it smooth. 
Yeah, I wonder how X-Plane does it. X-Plane has full VR support. And now that they've switched to Vulcan, they actually have it working. Maybe it's time to go back to X-Plane. See how it performs. Mm. But then again, I would be CPU throttled there anyway. Yeah, the, the CPU throttling there is even worse because the main thread that they have is even more main threadish, less multi-threading happening. Does VR have G-Sync? I have no idea how VR works. It's her birthday, Swappy? Happy birthday, man! Ooh. Here's a 3080 stream for you. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can do a giveaway, but at least I'll uh, share the, the footage with you. <laughs> Happy birthday, man! Oh my goodness. Special day. Enjoy. Hope you enjoy. Have anything planned? Have any gifts for yourself? Received any gifts? Exciting stuff. Thanks for sharing your special day with us. <laughs> Best I can offer for now is 3080 footage. <laughs> 90 megahertz max. Hey Stone Soup. Thanks for joining the discussion. Thanks for being in the stream. Yeah, no worries, G. Yeah, it's super late there. Thanks for hanging out. And glad to see you again, man. Hope to catch more of you soon. Have a great weekend. And uh, looking forward to your 5950X. Why am I looking at my track IR? The camera is here. <laughs> Still not used to having it in the center. I'll give you an Asus... Um, what do you call it? Postcard. <laughs> That's the best I can do. <laughs> A virtual postcard at that. <laughs> send me your email, I'll send you one. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a cheapo. I even had to search how you pronounce the company name because I always called them Asus. But then I was going to make like an official video and I was a bit shy to ask them how to pronounce their company name so I googled it. Apparently, they even had like a campaign for it. So, apparently, it's Asus. <clears throat> they had like a video campaign with a jingle just for the name to stick. Help, help with the brand recognition and stuff like that. Very smart stuff. It didn't reach me though. <laughs> but now it, did. it now it did, thankfully. Congrats for getting old. Answer, bye. <laughs> Slow down here. What's the GPU doing? is actually doing pretty well it's not maxing out anymore around 90 percent not bad i guess there's some throttling somewhere but i'm happy enough with the frames as is Do you guys use a USB hub by the way? I think I will need a USB hub eventually. Trying to shop for one in Amazon but I saw only a couple of powered USB hubs. Okay. <laughs> Almost jumped out of my seat there. <laughs> it works! Whew. Oh now I see the sound alerts. I missed that last Wednesday. Goodness. <laughs> My heart is beating so fast right now. Goodness, I, I should make that 1000 bits 
So at least it's worth my nervousness. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks for the bit, Swappy. Thanks for the blowout. <laughs> Birthday blowout. Again, 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 again. <laughs> Yeah, Raggy actually played that yesterday, no, last stream, while I was landing. Almost veered to the left <laughs> on final. <laughs> Two USB hubs. Don't have enough USB hearts on the MB. What USB hub? Do you guys recommend any USB hub? Or like, um, have any tips on selecting a nice one? Because I'm sure I want a powered USB hub. So something with its own outlet but I don't think that will be enough gauge to know if it's good or not I basically don't want the issue that it's that devices attached to it are powering off randomly I bought a very cheap USB hub before that had a, an adapter uh, so it, it was attaching to the wall socket to the power outlet but it still was um, powering off randomly so it was very bad USB hub so I'm wondering how you guys chose yours. Thanks, Wapi. So you're using the powered USB hub for the hard drive as well, and it's no problem. That's great to hear. Yeah, because hard drives, I guess, are, have one or have a pretty powerful power requirement, pretty strong power requirement. The wheel, maybe not as much because it has its own power, right? But the hard drive gets all its power from the USB port. Nice. That's the one I'm planning to buy. Uh, I forgot the name. I think it's a famous one. It has seven slots in them. If, if there was a 10 slot, I would have gotten it. But I think the only thing that's available here in my area is a 7-slot USB hub. It has a power for each one. Um, what's the name? If you guys mention the brand name, I might recognize it. What is it? Did it start with a B? Mm, it looked pretty decent. It looked pretty professional and pretty beefy. The reviews were okay. But it, it's always nice to have something. You don't have hard drive requirements, so you use it without power. Ah, but it's good enough for your peripherals. What do you attach to it? Yeah, I'm always paranoid when I'm when I'm using a USB hub now because of my previous problem that the devices were powering off even with the socket. That I'm always paranoid that I always want to power it separately, even for a mouse. Or <laughs> maybe not a mouse, but all peripherals. Power USB because of the amount of information being sent between them. Oh, really? That's interesting. Yay! There you go again. Goodness. That will never get old. <laughs> Goodness. I might be able to buy a second RTX 3080 with all the, those bits. <laughs> I'm poor now. Flight sim hardware, mouse and keyboard. Oh, that's great. So you have uh, like a yoke and throttle, is it? Or what kind of peripherals do you have? But a yoke is good enough for a USB hub without power. Cool, that's perfect. For me, I would probably be planning on attaching the track IR, the webcam and the, the flight and driving peripherals so probably a powered will be required for my case huh? especially with the webcams i guess oh you have track ir as well joystick pedals throttle track ir kb mouse and no power and it's okay wow what brand is that Oh, you're going to post it in Discord, right? Yes, I'll check later. Thanks. Yeah, 
can ever have enough USB ports. Cool stuff. The Strack IR is kind of a... I guess you could say it's also a kind of a camera. Although probably more lightweight, huh? Because it's only looking for like, what, light signals. Track IR and webcam, one USB hub. And they're both unpowered. Oh, nice. That's promising. Cool. Okay, I'm feeling confident again. And you guys don't have the problems of like the powering on and off. Okay, that's good to hear. Hey, thank you for joining. Thanks for the follow. And uh, feel free to join in chat if you are in the mood. Or lurk away. Either way is perfectly fine, more than welcome. Wheels, gear, side panel, and 302 USB mixer in yours without power. Wow. Didn't know USB hubs can be that powerful. That is pretty cool. So maybe I can try it without power, save up on a few cords. You guys know I have too many wires anyway already. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, maybe I don't need wires. Cool. All right, I'll have a look. Thanks. <clears throat> yeah, it would be pretty useful to have a USB hub right here in front of me, or right on the table. Cause right now I have to like reach around, and uh, it's quite inconvenient. I have to be a bit of a contortionist sometimes to reach the other ports <laughs> I have um, four USB ports on each side monitor so they are like acting as USB, USB hubs which is nice but I have to really bend my way around them to reach the USB hubs the USB ports <laughs> and when you're switching peripherals every time because of the different flight simming equipment tends to get pretty tedious <clears throat> USB 3 not USB 2 right definitely USB 3 I think all my slots on the motherboard are USB 3 now although I do have something interesting like it's a USB 3 so the normal color is blue right but this, I have two USB 3 ports that are colored red and I think they are powered or there's something special about them. Um, I don't know what you call it. 3.1? Is there such a thing? But yeah, I think they're more high-end USB 3s. Yeah, 3.1. So that's a thing. You know what difference that makes? I would assume better power, but looks fancier. <laughs> so that's where my external hard drive is connected right now. Might be a bit overkill actually, but take it. More speed and power, good to hear. So if I ever would attach a USB hub, that's where I should be attaching to. So it's safer. Connect your two wireless connectors for headphones and mouse to the hub. Ah, I get what you mean. Nice. Then more FPS. Oh wow, that's a huge jump. Doubled the speed. Cool. The, the the version numbering is interesting, isn't it? Like a 3.0 and a 3.1. From a number point of view, if you just look at the numbers, it sounds like such an inconsequential update. Like, oh, okay, minor improvements maybe. But I wouldn't have expected it to like double the throughput or something like that, the speed. I think it's the same with what, HDMI 2.0 and 2.1? 2.1 is the new thing, right? 
is the HDMI 2.1 even better than a display point display port 1.4 I think like 4k 144 or something I can't remember I seem to remember HDMI the newer one is more capable my rig doing 9.5 still 9.5 on the usage or I think it was 9 point something a while ago is faster than HDMI HDMI 2 is faster HDMI 2 is for 4k plus monitor so HDMI 2 is faster than DP 1.4 this is so confusing huh? Thank goodness everything is just a search away. You guys remember those times when we didn't have Google yet? Oh my goodness, how would how did developers do their work back then? Because right now in my full-time work, I would probably be pretty stumped without Google. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, you had to buy the books. I remember buying those before. The books which would get outdated in a couple of months because of all the new versions coming out. And then you'd have to look for the index or something. Ooh, another one. Very nice effect from afar. That actually looks quite real, huh? Nice. HDMI is enough for 60Hz. the best joke I've ever heard today. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. the price of the year <laughs> it really pumps my heart I should get charged more for it <laughs> the others I can live more on the clap and the rip puts name a little black stab book <laughs> there's a movie or a series like that I think very famous um, I think it was originally Japanese, I'm not sure if it was adopted. Death book or something. Heard very good things about it, but I never got to watching or reading it. Death Note, Death Note. <clears throat> shoot, shoot, shoot. How did the... I guess we could say it. How did the balls hunting go well, huh, go guys? Basketballs, right? You were hunting for basketballs. <laughs> Movie came out not came out long ago. Yeah, it was it's quite uh, an old one. Found a lot. Oh, happy for you guys. <laughs> Very successful. <laughs> Did you get to deflate them? 
black clip one clip on with this arm <laughs> hand picking <laughs> probably was not a fun experience on both parties involved <laughs> basketballs basketballs yeah they they were feeling sporty a while ago so they were playing i think i think that that's what i got at least I didn't know Bla had such tendencies. <laughs> Have to be careful when you meet face to face. <clears throat> See what you do. Time's up. Oh, really? Oh, that went by so fast. So, how was the stream for you guys in terms of did you get a lot of buffering? Because we're in 6k bitrate right now. It's more than double than the last one. All good. That's good to hear. Oh, still 157 miles away. Crap. I think we can finish though. Let's boost it up. Let's finish this job. Looks like 360. <laughs> My goodness. Smooth. Oh, right, right, yes, thanks, Jay. I was hoping when I increased the bitrate, Twitch would see, oh, this one needs transcoding because it's high bitrate. But um, apparently that was not a trick. Maybe maybe this time, though. Yeah, maybe... Maybe it works. Oh, crap. With the 1080, maybe it will trigger. Great to hear, guys. Alright, next time let's try 1080. And I'm happy to see that the GPU encoding on all sides is working. So my CPU can focus on other stuff. So offloading the workload to the GPU because it can handle more now. Good deal. And letting the CPU do its best to not throttle itself. Man, didn't know the 3080 could do so well in 360. 360p, state of the art technology. Ultra wide 360p? <laughs> oh my goodness. What would that be? Game Boy? I haven't still gotten around to that though. I wanted to check how the like I think there's something like that. I'm not sure Jay if you've seen that before. Like in the analytics in YouTube, is there a metric that gives you an idea of what kind of screen your viewers are watching at? So you would know if they're like using 16 to 9, 21 to 9. Because if they're watching on their mobile phones chances are they have like a an ultra wide screen aspect ratio that's becoming the trend these days right more than 16 to 9 definitely but for those who are watching from desktop then i would imagine 16 to 9 is probably still the most prevalent one so i guess it mostly depends if you are more mobile versus desktop viewers but then again maybe at that detail you have the analytics I'll have to spend some time to look into that more. Maybe that can be a good next level purchase. Whoa. Oh my goodness, I'll have a hard time fitting that in my desk though. <laughs> yay, yay, yay. Star Trek episode 3 soon. Oh, great. Did they already say how many episodes there will be? I can get to watching it soon. You usually watch from TV, but it's... And the TV, I assume, is the standard one, 16 to 9. Yeah, I guess at this point it's still best to stick with 16 to 9. But the allure of uh, the peripheral vision 
is very tempting. Has anyone tried playing on an ultra wide before or triple monitor setup? Because myself, I've never tried it. So I heard very good things about it from uh, an experience point of view. But I never had the hardware before that is capable of it. So I never even explored the idea. There, there, equivalent of there, there, is it? <laughs> that sounds like the right size, Alex. <laughs> speed it up. Close your eyes when you see a speed limit sign. Until one dies, hopefully not. Although I guess one limitation with triple monitor is you can't have G-Sync. Well, at least not in all three. I wonder how that will work. Oi, 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 what the heck? <laughs> Good point, Swappy. Touche. <laughs> it hurts either way. Thor uses triple screens. Oh, nice. He even has that, uh, what do you call it, that force feedback on the seat, right, I think? Or uh, not force feedback, the, the axis. No option. Oh, that's too bad. Alright, thanks, Jay. <laughs> I've just imagined it then. Imagine it would be easy for YouTube to have some kind of analytics on the resolution that people are watching on. And if they know what resolution people are watching on, then it would be easy to determine already like the screen size or the aspect ratio from there. Full motion rig. Nearly killed him several times. I haven't ever gotten on a stream with him. I haven't watched him. Does he stream on the European um, afternoon? <clears throat> the TP <tippy> chair. <laughs> Ah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, on my phone, I guess it would be limited to 1080. The option wouldn't even show. But at the very least, it would still be the same aspect ratio. No, not really, huh? Because if your video is only 1920 by 1080, even if you have an ultra wide mobile screen, it would still be at 1920 by 1080 so you would get the black borders on the left and right sides unless you zoom in yeah so at the very least mobile versus desktop i guess is the most you can they can measure that one i think they should have oh this would have been a nice photo but i'm rushing Yeah, the, the memory usage is climbing and climbing. 94% memory being used now on Truxim. <laughs> well, a good argument, I guess, for the 16 gigs from the, the big Navi, right? That would take a lot longer to fill. But yeah, I would be interested to see like the difference because I think the big Navi GPUs even though they have 16 gig, they still have the GDDR6, right? Not 6x. If I got that right. So it would be interesting to see an actual... What does that mean? 6 and 6x. If everything else remains the same, I wonder how that could change things. Interesting experiment. systems ah uh, yeah true 
Well, I guess if it's Android or iOS, then it's mobile. It's desktop, then it's... Well, that's true. It's not as straightforward. Oh my goodness, I love this. I, I definitely imagined how this... How the frame rate will look with this kind of scenery. You guys are familiar with this already. Let's have a look at how much FPS we're getting. Yeah, this is normally the heaviest part. When you're driving John Ruta's Freightliner Classic, and then you're going through a heavily bushed area with all the shadows, all the foliage and everything like this. That's usually when the heaviest part of the, the stream will be at. So that you can see you're going down to 70 FPS. So this is purely the GPU now. The CPU is not having to work a lot. Quite nice. <laughs> oh, the JDAR makes a comeback. So yeah, I think I'm getting frame drops from time to time, but it should be minimal. We'll work on optimizing that as we go along and uh, explore more here. Yeah, right now there I got a few frame drops, I think. All in all, it's 0.1% frame drop, so it's minimal. But yeah, I think I can improve that better. I can probably hide the preview from OBS and that will improve stuff even more. Usually hiding the preview made a lot of uh, good things for me. Ah, that's beautiful skies. I'm hoping the recording is also okay. I'll review it later. tested it a while ago in full screen when the sim is in full screen yeah it doesn't do much back then but if I was in windowed mode in truck sim I would be locked to 60 FPS <clears throat> because my monitors side monitors are 60 Hertz and uh, there is a 3d application application using the GPU on one of those monitors so Windows is limiting everything to 60 FPS it's causing a lot of stutters not the that not the smooth 60 FPS kind the, the stuttery kind actually we can test that a bit right now would be an interesting experiment. Let me just disable the preview here. See if we notice it just a tad smoother. How about that? Let me have a look at the numbers as well. So right now I have 936 frames skipped out of... Uh, 783,000 so yeah, it looks very good 936 I was hoping I could get away with having a preview screen but I think that's more of a limitation on my monitors than the GPU itself yeah, it looks like it's much smoother now no frame drops at all and I'm already in full screen in the sim The solution is to upgrade the monitors, I think. Everything should be the same so that there would be no uh, bottlenecking. Hey, thanks for following. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, act by accident, it's more than three hours. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Just want to finish this job because we're almost done. Hang tight. still 936 I think that solved it cool all right so uh, yes I, I guess I'll live with no, no preview again for now I do have the stream preview on my right so maybe I can just make that bigger I think I can work with that stream preview from the browser itself and now it didn't crash 
remember before the the windows would always crash at some point and I would have to reload it or quit it although that happens more often in flight sim I think we didn't get that today so maybe it's more on also on the stability of the GPU an extended stress test yes I like the sign of that hey bye Roy. sorry I hope I read that right thanks man glad you made it to the stream yeah we're running a bit long today running a bit late so uh, that's uh, pretty fortunate so we caught each other thanks for the follow glad you're enjoying the vids <laughs> it's a feature it was intentional right oh this is even smoother i should have been playing at this view without the preview my goodness that hopefully it's not placebo but that's even smoother than a while ago bit of jerkiness at least not on my end no f no frame drops anymore from my end no skip frames no missed frames yeah, a while ago there was and I could see it myself as well the FPS is 60 at some points it would drop to 59 or 58 for a second or two and that would equate to frame drops but since I turned off the preview we haven't gotten one since not even a single frame. It is looking very good. Good experiment, guys. I think I'll keep this setup. quite bad parking but it's accepted it so it's good <sighs> not too bad I'll take it One thousand eight hundred ten miles, ninety-two k. VT Lug will love me for it. Wonder how many points we got. GG. Thanks a lot, guys, for joining. Appreciate the company. Thanks for joining me in this stress test. Looking forward to more of the vids to share with you. I have some stuff planned. I'll keep you posted. Have a great weekend. Let's play Among Us soon. <laughs> Till then, catch you guys on Discord. Appreciate all the help, inputs, and the company. Thanks and bye-bye. Oh, perfect timing for this. <laughs> See you guys. Have a good one. Bye. Catch you soon. I look here. Okay, good. Bye-bye.